While most bodybuilders shy away from the talk about steroids and drug usage, Rich Piana was one of those that always decided to address the topic head on and as honestly as he could. Let's hear what Rich Piana had to say on steroids throughout the years. Rich Piana's Take on Steroids Before his passing, bodybuilder Rich Piana was outspoken about his nearly 30 years of steroid usage, despite admitting time and time again that the drug can kill you. But though Piana was open about his drug use, he maintained that he was not bragging or encouraging steroid use in others. Instead, Piana claimed he used the platform to educate those who were going to use them on how to use the drugs properly. In another interview, he said, If you have the choice to stay natural or do steroids, stay natural. There's no reason to do steroids. You're only hurting your body. You're hurting yourself. If you want to become a professional bodybuilder, guess what? You're probably going to have to fucking do them. You're not going to have a choice. Piana first got into the drug at a young age, trying the common cycle known as Test and Deca, a practice that mixes testosterone with the anabolic steroid Decadurabilin for bulking when he was just 18 years old. That weight gain came with a significant shift in Piana's strength. When he graduated high school, he said he was bench pressing 315 pounds. After the steroids, his bench went up to 405 pounds. Being the first time that I had ever taken anything I possibly could to get that weight up, adding in that Tess and Deca, my bench went up to 405. It was not a legal clean 405. The drugs were an expensive undertaking for Piana. When he was competing on the national level, Piana said he would take 20 international units of Serastim, growth hormone a day, which, if bought through the prescription of a doctor, would cost him roughly $8,000 a month. He was honest about the side effects, though claimed he mostly didn't experience them and knew how to treat them with he did. There were occasions where he had his liver checked by doctors and his enzymes were high. To avoid liver toxicity, he would do what he could to bring them down, even staying off the drugs for a while. That's all part of the game, he said. I don't think it's a very good fucking idea to take steroids, you know? If you can stay natural for as long as you can, that's the way to go. I've been taking steroids for 25 years. I started when I was 18. I'm not telling people to take steroids. Did Piana know the risks? With everything being said, Piana said he was aware that he was taking serious risks with every cycle. In an old video clip, he said, I am total 100% aware the damage is being done to my body in the choices I am making. I know for a fact that doing what I'm doing is going to cause damage. For every positive I'm getting from these steroids, there's a negative that's going to come along with it. Rich Piana, the most outspoken bodybuilder, passes away. Rich Piana, the famous bodybuilding figure who admittedly took a lot of steroids during and after his career, was one of the most influential figures in modern-day bodybuilding. His quote and the tagline of his nutritional supplement company 5% Nutrition, whatever it takes still has a massive following and is still worn as a badge by many aspirational young bodybuilders. He passed away in August 2017 due to an alleged overdose of steroids and other drugs and his autopsy reports also indicated some severe health markers like an enlarged heart, edema in the brain, etc. The cause of death was undetermined and even though it may not be steroids directly, injecting those in high doses does come with side effects which may play a role as compounding factors in other health risks for sure. The one thing for which people respected Rich Piana was his open admission of drugs and he did not pretend to be one of those fakers who would lie and try to sell you lies by claiming you can become like them without steroid usage. Piana's Impact on Bodybuilding Piana definitely angered some of the bodybuilding establishments with his outspoken ways, but they should thank him. Bodybuilding has long tried to present itself as a healthy lifestyle, but it has a dark side, and not just when it comes to drugs. Piana himself told us, over and over, that when it came to the world of competitive, contest bodybuilding, he was a loser. He wasn't a darling of the industry. He wasn't an Olympia champion. But in rejecting that world and becoming the most fully realized version of Rich Piana that he could concoct, he transcended the limitations of the sport and became something different, part caricature, part performance art, part pop culture icon. In rejecting the bodybuilding status quo, he came to signify bodybuilding for mainstream audiences more than only a handful of the all-time greats. He brought a whole new young and fresh audience to the world of bodybuilding. He was only six years old when he was introduced to the world of bodybuilding. Rich Piana's mother was a bodybuilder responsible for showing Rich a world that would soon become his playground. At this young age, he was struck by inspiration, a passion that led him to begin his rich bodybuilding career at only 11 years old. His natural talent and work ethic quickly fast-tracked him onto a pathway of success and notoriety. By the time he was 18 years old, Piana won Mr. Teen California. After winning Mr. Teen, he continued on to win Mr. California. 
As a bodybuilder, Rich was known for his strength and success within his field, but also for his personal impact, inspiring thousands of people. After winning the titles of Mr. Teen California and Mr. California, Rich began to add to his influence with cameos in films and television shows like The Hulk and Scrubs. Piana also started a YouTube channel that grew to an audience of 1.21 million viewers. Before his passing, his channel had strong viewership, where he shared personal stories and inspiration for those who needed it. His vulnerabilities and authentic personality shone through as he shared his struggles with steroids and the challenges he faced during a successful career. In addition to winning championships and growing a huge social media platform, Piana founded Rich Piana 5% Nutrition, a fitness brand famous for its hardcore fitness image and products marketed to improve athleticism. 5% Nutrition primarily sells supplements and apparel and encourages people to live motivated and goal-driven lives. Rich Piana on the Bodybuilding Industry and Steroid Usage Rich Piana told in an interview that one thing that did not go down well with him was the rampant usage of steroids and the slow death of the spirit of bodybuilding. Bodybuilding was a sport or a lifestyle that was more about pumping iron and lifting weights, but he did not like the way how it was turning out to be more about injecting steroids over pumping iron. Rich used to openly highlight the ugly side of taking steroids as well and used to educate as to how taking testosterone led to a crash in the normal hormone production or atrophy of testes, or how taking growth hormone led to the growth of your internal organs. He went on to even say how GH as a peptide leads to a bodybuilder's gut as the intestines push out to unnatural levels and push your abs inches apart. Another major claim or opinion that Rich held was how even though in the short term it may mean more test levels, more strength, more muscle building and the other benefits that come with it, it is never that pleasant in the long term and how do the side effects of steroid use always come to bite you back later on. Rich also opened up about his problem with steroids and how he faced certain side effects like roid rage and how it used to affect his relationship with his girlfriend back in the day. Overall, if you critically assess it, Rich never was a flag bearer for usage or discouraged usage. He always showed the true picture and admitted that there are both pros and cons of taking steroids. Was Piana's passing due to steroid use? Piana was rushed to a hospital after he suddenly collapsed while getting a haircut. He was placed in a medically induced coma for just over two weeks before dying in the hospital. It was wildly speculated that the beloved bodybuilder's death involved drug use, as Piana was open about using anabolic steroids and insulin. TMZ reported that 20 bottles of steroids were found in his home by police, which threw bodybuilding fans into a frenzy. The autopsy report was unable to draw any connection between Piana's death and his drug use, although William Pellin, director of investigations for the District 6 Medical Examiner's Office, said it was impossible to rule out drugs as a cause. Due to the lack of available admission specimens, drug involvement could not be ruled out, he said. The findings do not provide any indication that drugs played a role in his death. The findings actually provide an indication of an enlarged heart. Along with an enlarged heart, Piana's autopsy noted findings of hardening of the arteries. These significant signs of heart disease indicate that this, too, could have contributed to Piana's death, but it is impossible to rule it as the cause without the toxicology analysis to rule out drug use, which could not be conducted due to complications. That's all for today's video, folks. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.